You guys love the effects we did last week, so I figured why not do it again? Today we're gonna make myself jump over a castle. You will learn everything from masking to animating while using the transform, lemetry and Gaussian blur effects. All of that in just one video. Let's open up Premiere. So before we actually open up Premiere, you need to film yourself jumping. There's a few things you need to keep in mind. When you jump, you need to make sure there's space between your legs on the top of the building. Otherwise, it won't look like you're jumping over the castle. Also, film yourself with a camera on a tripod. Or at least make sure the camera is steady without movement. You can also lay down your camera or phone down in the grass. All right, and now we're gonna open up Premiere. As you can see, my workspace looks a little different than usual. That's because I I decided to make a vertical video this time just to change things up all right so here you can see my jumping shot and on the right side you can see my empty shot click and drag the empty on top of the jumping video make sure the clip is selected and go to the effect controls find the opacity effect and click the pen tool to create a mask head over to the program monitor and draw a mask around your building do this extremely careful and try to create a perfect mask this will make it look super real when you're all the way around your castle or building, close up the mask and go back to the effect controls. Decrease the feather to zero and right now the edge is a little too harsh. You can't increase the feather to soften it because that will reveal a white line of the sky to the inside of your mask. You cannot decrease the expansion either because that will make it look like you're glitching in the castle. Anyway, I will show you a fix for this later on. Let's go back to the timeline and as you can see, I'm still not jumping over the castle. Well, simply move the player to the moment where you are all the way above the building with your body completely visible of course then trim the right side of the empty shot and snap it against your play at that already looks beautiful but we still gotta give it an earthquake effect a nice color grade and we gotta fix this harsh line of course in our case we need to shoot this video ourselves but sometimes you need a shot of a car an aerial of a forest some desert clips and those are hard to shoot. Instead of traveling to the other side of the world to create the perfect shot, you should have used Storyblocks. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video, by the way. Just type in the shot you need and boom, endless results. Imagine crashing your drone trying to get the perfect aerial shot. Again, you should have used Storyblocks. Just type in aerial and there you go. Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to produce high quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images and more, you can download unlimited high quality assets at one predictable subscription cost. You can say goodbye to expensive paperclip pricing. Enhance your social media videos by accessing exclusive Storyblocks label music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Storyblocks will keep you protected from copyright strikes so that you can focus on actually creating. Besides that, you can save hours by using pre-made motion graphics templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Apple Motion and DaVinci Resolve. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics or just click the link down below. And now let us finish the effect. First, select both of your clips and right click them. Then find Nest. Give it a name, for example, Castle Effect. Then click on OK. We're doing this because we want to apply the same effects on both the clips simultaneously. Let us start by fixing this harsh line. To do that, head over to the Effects Library and find the Gaussian Blur Effect. Once you've found it, drag it on your Nest sequence. Make sure the clip is selected and head over to the effect controls. Then in here, look for the Gaussian blur effect and click the pen tool. Go to the program monitor and draw a mask around the harsh edge where you're standing. Once the mask is closed, head back to the effect controls and increase the blurriness. Now play around with the mask feather until the blur looks subtle and smooth. That looks great. Now let's create a beautiful color grade and an earthquake effect. A lot of cameras are very sensitive to the color green, especially Panasonic. This makes the greens look too flashy. To fix that, go to the window menu on top and find Lemetri Color. Once it's open, find the Curves tab. In here, scroll down a little until you find the Hue versus Hue curve. With this curve, you can select a color in your video and change it. To do that, click the color picker and then go to the program monitor. Click somewhere green, for example the grass. Now back in the Hue versus Hue, drag the middle point up to add an orange tint to your green. This will instantly look better and more soft. Don't be afraid afraid to adjust your selection in Lemetri. You can do this with any color by the way, not just the greens. Okay, now it's 
time for the earthquake effect. First, look for the transform effect in the effects library and drag it onto your nested sequence. With your clip selected, go to the effect controls. Now grab the playhead and drag it to the moment you're landing on the ground. Right here, set a position and rotation keyframe. Move one frame further and adjust the rotation and position slightly. Keep doing that for about 15 to 20 frames. For the last few frames, make the position and rotation go back slowly to the original values. Then for the last keyframes, just click the reset button. Next, you want to increase the scale just a little bit to hide the black borders. Now, all that's left to do is increase the shutter angle to introduce motion blur. And there you go. Don't forget to send me a DM on Instagram with your result. I would love to see them all. To continue the lesson and learn more amazing VFX effects in Premiere Pro, click the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching.